Hello, my name is Melinda Cole. For the past 20 years, I have been helping educators implement project-based learning in their classrooms. Both STEM and PBL are popular acronyms in educational technology right now, and I want to convince you to use them together. STEM is way more than a renewed focus on science, technology, engineering, and math. STEM means teaching these subjects through an integrated approach to better reflect how real work is done in these fields today. You might be familiar with the four C's, creativity, collaboration, communication, and critical thinking. The integrated approach in STEM and the process of project-based learning both build these essential skills along with the cross-disciplinary expertise necessary for success and innovation. Many STEM educators implement design thinking and the engineering design process to meet this goal of STEM. These inquiry-based processes provide both students and teachers with a structure to support student learning and action. A project-based approach can help you go even further. In PBL, you present students with a real problem or issue in their community. Next, students learn content in order to answer the questions they develop as they think about the issue. Then students craft solutions based on the ideas generated by their research, experience, and imagination. By flipping the educational model from explore and show to question, investigate, and solve, PBL helps you elevate student work in STEM from completing activities to developing innovative solutions. In a project-based approach, questions are more important than answers. PBL sets the stage by describing the issue, not the product students will create. This gives students an opportunity to build the inquiry skills necessary for deep thinking and effective problem solving. So what can this look like? Instead of asking students to build a compost bin in science or graph the size and weight of school garbage in math, a PBL approach might simply show students how much waste is produced in your cafeteria on a given day. On their own, they set the goal of reducing waste, breaking down the problem, and choosing one approach they will use to try to fix it. Many schools already have existing gardens, and most are even maintained by students. A PBL approach demands that students drive the entire process. Will they design and implement a food garden? For what purpose? Education, healthy eating, sustainability? Or will they design a native plant garden or habitat for butterflies? After students choose why, then they determine what, when, and where to plant and are in charge of how it will be implemented and maintained. Taking a project-based approach to learning helps you put students in charge. If we want students to be responsible for their own learning, we need to empower them to do real work at school that builds essential academic skills along with the thinking and dispositions necessary to apply their learning to solve problems and innovate. If you aren't ready to take a full-fledged project-based approach, guide your STEM implementation with the belief that students need to be the ones asking powerful questions about the curriculum, be given real opportunities that help them connect ideas between school and the world beyond it, and take charge of their learning. PBL is not just for students, it's driven by them. Power up your STEM implementation with a PBL approach for even more impact on student learning.